bro. Bye. Bye. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Yeah. World, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy Prince Riley back with another video, man. Alright, so I know I got some explaining to do for you guys, man. But just to let you know, I'm back in action. I know it's been a week without content, but your boy back. Your boy back with some more bangers, man. Now I've been in school actually. I just started school. So so I've been, you know, grinding on school and stuff. But we're back, man. We're back with some more anime. Like, shout out to all the new subscribers to the channel. And let's get right into the video. Ooh. Ooh, Hunter X Hunter. Hunter X Hunter. Battles are a Yo, let's go. A lot of shonen anime. Most of the memorable and iconic shots that even the most casual of fans cherish come from these fights. However, Bro. Anime also has one rather infamous reputation. That Yo. Is the reluctance nah, that was to crazy. Major characters. Chances are, Yo, if I've you're always with a seen that anime. In a shonen anime, plot armor will nine times out of ten save you from doom. Oh this my list god. About those kinds of fights. Today, we're going over ten fights with nine lasting consequences that is these are fights where two people walk in and only one comes out alive. word these only one beast comes out fights to the death this was a good anime with agame versus as this was a good pulls no punches in this was a good anime like y'all should get into that there's a lot of death there was a lot of sad deaths in this anime like, just just the, the sadness. Three episodes, we've seen what the two fighters are capable of, and it's finally time for the inevitable collision. Clean. Emotions are running high following Datsumi's clean. death. Both Agame and Esdeath open right up with their iconic techniques. Nah, this was clean. It seems that the tides have turned in favor of Esdeath, who was on the defensive the majority of the fight. Stop playing. Stop playing with your boy. Except in defeat, she then encases herself in ice with Datsumi and explodes. Overall, a rather quick fight, but it does have its moments. I mean, I personally thought that the way Agame overcame the time freezing skill was a bit of a plot convenience, at least when I watched it. Right. The fight is still a decent way to wrap things up for what by that point can already be considered an original series altogether. Now this was a beast at this point. Oh my god, Endeavor versus Hood. My hero Akadu Prominent burn. And ends with a bang. Quite literally, as Endeavor and Hawks team up to take on High End. Taking on the mantle as the number one pro hero, Endeavor has a huge... Yo, that was the craziest animation I've seen. Hood, the High End, no move. In a fight with a setup kind of reminiscent of All Might's show... Yeah, that was crazy. On, we have a powerful veteran hero taking on the bad guy. And I think that this fight blew all the previous ones out of water. Except, obviously, for All Might versus One for All. Despite Endeavor's power and his prominence burn... Oh my God. ...unfazed and even one-ups the number one pro hero in several junctions. In a goosebump-inducing moment, Endeavor... Yo, he was down. He was down. Endeavor was, was done, bro. He, hated so he was much. done. And he came back. Burn. What a way to complete Let's go. Arc and character development. Let's go. Ooh, let me turn up the light. Let me turn up the brightness on this. But this works so well as a climax for the fourth season. <laughs> Jiraiya, bro. Jiraiya. This was a sad Naruto death. Calm it down, bro. If you feel like this was one of the saddest deaths in Naruto, like, in my in my point of view, it definitely was, bro. I was not feeling this death at the time. As expected, Jiraiya puts up one hell of a fight. He sure did. He's gone through Conan, but he didn't even break a sweat given how well he kept up with the pains in the first phase of the battle. It seemed that he could even pull it off or escape. However, as strong as he may be, even the legendary Jiraiya would find himself falling against Damn. sheer numbers. He'd die in battle, but not before passing away with a smile and a peaceful reassurance to himself. Probably one of the more heroic and heart-wrenching deaths in the series. There's a reason why I consider this fight one of the top moments in the entire series. Series period. Damn, Jiraiya had to die. Man. That was a tough. That was a tough one. Oh, 
Dio versus Jorotoro. Dio's battle against Jotaro finds it. Oh my god. Jojo's oh my god, bro. Seem to have limits, and all that can be seen in its full glory in Let's go. Battle. Stop Much playing with your boy. Important fights seem to involve a nemesis from Stop the past, playing with the your boy. Dio. Their final battle starts off in a shot that's been forever immortalized as a meme, and they wasted no yeah, time. Yeah, like that fight was. Gear. The two fighters seemingly evenly matched. I can't wait for another Jojo season. I cannot the wait. In the end, it's going to be lit. Jotaro nearly dying. An appearance by Joseph Soul helps Jotaro come back from seemingly unbeatable odds and reveals a time-stopping power of his own. The fight yeah. gets turned for the last time, the world crumbles and Dio's finally dead after a Dio's done, bro. With the Joe Dio was done. Amazing fight this one. Seeing Dio finally get put down after seemingly being invincible was a sight to behold. Never will we have another JoJo villain as charismatic as you. Rest well. Y'all already know how about y'all already know how I feel Six about this fight right here. I ain't, I ain't even gotta say nothing. You know, given a show like Oh my god, bro. To have a battle with tension, isn't it? What's there to be worried about with the kind of hero that you have in this show? This oh my god. Classic one punch man flair. World rending villains showing off their crazy and over the top powers to much fireworks and fanfare, only to fall at the hands of the almighty Saitama. The visuals do make mm. it seem like Boros could finally be the one to give a challenge to our hey. Hell no. And in a way he Hell does. Hell no. He, he definitely did not, bro. He definitely did not. And he does it here to bring Boros down for good. Ooh. The status quo doesn't seem to change, Clean. though. But that doesn't mean that the fights don't look clean. Awesome. And oh my god, bro. Much it still is clean. That still is clean. Bit amazing. Oh my god. Yu Yu Hakusho. I, I, no. We, we gonna pause it right here. If you haven't seen Yu Yu Hakusho, do not watch the rest of this video until you go and see it. Cause this was devastation at its best. My God, it's too much. It's just too much. My lord. Is for a lot of reasons one of the most well remembered arcs in anime. In the 90s, oh my lord. How a tournament Bro. Arc should be done, and it gave us a lot this of should be re reanimated. The climax of the arc saw this should be reanimated. Hands, Hands down. Hands down. Reanimation. Dominates the battle after an initial this man was something, bro. Lasted for just a few moments, and the stakes get raised when he threatens Guabara. Enraged, Yusuke turns the tides and lets Doguro go into his ultimate 100% form. Doguro's yeah, that was confidence would be the end of. Him as he charges a spirit gun head on, leading to his muscles crumbling and his untimely death. However, it's not a regrettable death for the villain as he thanked Yusuke for allowing him to release his full power. And oh my fight, god, its ups and downs. This fight is just one of the many reasons why many old school anime fans look back at the dark, yeah, arc so fondly. Oh my god, Ichigo. <laughs> Oh my god. Still the best fight in Bleach. Still the best fight in Bleach, bro. One of the best. After getting bodied by Okiora multiple times already, Ichigo finally toughened his resolve and set off to finally rescue Orihime. I mean, I was throwing nukes, though. He was throwing, like, straight nukes. Gets bodied again. No matter yeah, he which power up he body. pulls out or whichever impressive attack he throws, he still finds himself being destroyed by the fourth Espada at every turn, ending Clean. with him pretty much dead by the end of it. However, one last power up and new form would come out and completely change the complexion of the battle. In his new form, it was Ichigo doing the squashing, and he turns the tide so badly yeah. that Okiora gets a door shut on a redemption arc attempt. Ichigo versus Okiora is up there Straight. in terms of storyline stakes, but I think that the sheer destructive Boom, right there. One time. One time. Bleach had one time. It's also one of the most impressive battles visually and certainly one of the high points of the Hueco Mundo arc. Rest in peace, the man. The first of our top three is Scar versus Bradley. I mean, I could see a top three. Okay, okay, okay. Deep into FMA Brotherhood, Scar has played the Damn. rival slash uneasy ally character pretty well. He freshly turned good, but I think that at this point, he still needed a fight that would put him on the map. A fight that would define Bro, him. this is so character. clean right Kinda now. like the multiple Mustang fights that we've got Oof. when everything's set Get off me. And luckily for him, he gets it right here. An overwhelming strong character, mm. King Bradley finally finds his match and eventually meets his end at the hands of Scar in a key moment in the series. He yeah. drives Scar in a corner thanks to his powers, but having lost his his ultimate 
I, the writings on the wall for the homunculus. He gets his arms destroyed before biting it. You gotta give Bradley props though. Even in death, he still manages to crucially stab Scar and get a measure of revenge. What a way for Scar to Damn. get his character defining battle in a fight to the death against King Bradley to boot. It was an amazing feeling to see one of the most overpowered characters in the series fall at the hands of Scar. Yeah, he, he was beast on this dude. Sword of a Stranger, that what it's called. My god, I've seen this anime. Oh my god! Stop Bradley playing with your boy! My man was giving him the work. Beautifully. In terms of pure spectacle though, it's one of the best sword fights that I've ever seen. Capping off what's been an amazing movie so far, Nanashi and Luo Lang face off in their final battle inside Temple Grounds. The two contrasting forces oh are God. seemingly meant to have their final showdown and they more than exceed expectations with this fight. After a long, drawn out fight that has no shortage of drama and tension, Nanashi finally overcomes the seemingly unbeatable foe and wins against Luo Lang. The cinematography and presentation oh really Really drove this fight up a notch. A lot of people expected this a man. standard sword fight with sprinkles of drama, but got more than what they bargained for. If you need another reason to watch Sword of the Stranger, may this fight be it. What is number one, though? Well, what 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 he gonna put for his number one? Damn. Bro. Alright, listen. <clears throat> I felt the presence of Hunter X Hunter. Deadly. Super deadly. Bro. And yeah. finally, topping the list Ooh, is none other than the fight for the best the show. Oh, no. Meruem, Stop playing. Stop playing. You already know, Hunter Hunter X fan all the way. Come on. Come on. This fight, someone as powerful Come as the on. And King finally finds an yeah, this was a great fight. I can't even deny it. They was giving him work. I did not want him to die, though. Like, I didn't want him to die. After a very long showdown, Damn. he could have showed he could have showed on Gong some more some more work, you know what I'm saying? Victory Show him how to work, you know, because no he was beast. Especially after having the entire field blown up by poor man's rose afterwards. There are many things to take away Damn. from the Chimera Ant arc. It's not known as one of the best arcs in an entire genre for nothing. You've got amazing villains, some great story beats, one of the most memorable moments we got out of Gone, and then we have this. The two got an entire episode for themselves. Damn. Crying out loud, it's truly a work of art. Yeah, they were they were monsters, bro. It seems that contrary to popular belief, Dan all right, we're gonna end it right here. Um, but yeah, man, y'all know what time it is, man. Dropping some more content for you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Merchandise will be coming soon, okay? That is guaranteed, okay? I got some t shirts and stuff that will be coming soon links will be in the description so make sure you stay tuned for that but also guys make sure you guys follow me on instagram but y'all know what time it is it is your boy prince riley and i'm out peace Bye. Bye. Bye.